Hello to all my friends out there. I think I got this camera set up. So I was driving up here. I just got to the, it's hot here, the shopping center. And I wanted to talk to you guys about, I have lived good and awful. And good is much better. But I want to mention about when I was doing hair. A lot of people would say I was cheating, but actually I wasn't really cheating. Uh, one thing I would do is when my customers uh, gave me advice, you know, we would be talking, I would take it. And so the, the credit was loose at that time. And one of the bankers uh, told me, take out all the, get all the unsecured credit you can right now. I do not agree with these people who say uh, no credit. I think that's not a good idea. But of course you have to make the payments. So I, as far as I know, I was the only one that did that. And then I had no plans on retiring and it would be difficult right now for me to get the credit that I have. So I wanna talk to you guys about how it's really not that hard to get up and out. So, okay, let's say you had an income of $10,000 and you had unsecured debt of $10,000. So basically, all the money you would earn in one year, you would be in debt. But you would be living like you had $20,000. So you would live significantly better. So then you might be saying to yourself, well, then I would be scrimping and saving to get out of this hole. So a lot of people might have found themselves in this position, but it's actually, there is a way. And a lot of people are not going to like this, but some people are gonna be able to grasp this and it is really gonna help you. So you go, okay, I have a, a measly little income and I have debt to the same extent. If you can find a way to double your income, the ratio of income as opposed to debt would be one half. So you would have a $20,000 income and you would have a $10,000 debt. So you might be thinking, I can't do that. You have to figure out a way to earn $250 a week. So this is why I have been doing all these swap meet, um, eBay, YouTube videos. So, okay, so what you would do is you would start some kind of a, a business, a self-employed business in case, God forbid, something happened to your job. So uh, my, uh, my idea was swap meet. So I would take my junk to the swap meet. I would buy stuff maybe at the swap meet, maybe at thrift stores with the idea of getting 250 extra dollars per week. Okay, I knew a lady and she used to uh, gather up the stuff people left and then sell it the next week. And she got to the point where she was making $600 on the weekends at the thrift store. Also, I've known some ingenious women that were able to get move up from uh, living in a truck with a little camper bed and move up to get uh, a fifth wheel. So it's the little by little approach. So you're at 10,000, you have 10,000 debt, but you're really living like you have 20,000, then you get a $20,000 income and your debt ratio is reduced. So now let's say you do that again, and it's not that hard to do. You get, say now, an eBay business and you're trying to get $250 a week on eBay or any kind of job or as close as you can. Now you have a $30,000 income and $10,000 debt. So your debt ratio is reduced by two thirds. So what you're really doing is you're working another job. So what I used to do is I worked three jobs and I went to school as well and it served me well. So that is how you can 
reduce your um, income as opposed to uh, debt. And then another thing is when you're when you're paying your debt, what you can do, and this would be like treading water, but debt is like a silent elephant in the corner. So when you buy your groceries, you would pay your credit card with your grocery money. The payment is satisfied and you have your groceries. You're not going further into debt, but you're not getting, you're not getting really any more debt. So this is an easy way to, um, you know, keep your debt, ha you can carry debt as long as you pay. And you go, well, interest, interest. Well, it. some of the cards have a high interest and some of the cards have a low interest. So what you're gonna do, but just remember if something happens, like I think of these people wiped out of their homes and lost their jobs. One of my customers came in and he said, Shit, I just lost my job. I go, oh no. I go, do you have a line of credit at the bank? And he said, yeah. And I go, well, run over and get that line of credit before they find out. He goes, I'm going to run over there and do that right now. I mean, this is how your credit can help you. And I wanted to mention one more thing and then I'm done. Uh, they're saying we can expect a real estate crisis because people are getting the forbearance on their loans. So if their, their houses aren't worth that much, then their forbearance has to be paid as well when they go to sell. And so another bad thing is the banks can say, okay, we're not gonna loan you because your forbearance at the end of your loan is really a loan. So you're increasing your debt on your house payment. So that is real credit, uh, that is real property that you're loaning against, and that is not the same as unsecured credit. Let's say something hideous happens and I lost all my unsecured credit, that I'm not gonna lose my uh, real property. And so I was doing the resale and um, I discovered for around $20, you can buy an $100 item used and then you can sell it on eBay for $100. So you only have to figure out how to do that 2.5 times a week. Or if you can find a $50 item for $10, then you're gonna have, you know, you have to do that five times. So it's totally and completely doable. Another thing I discovered during the last pandemic is if you want to mail stuff and we're in the middle of some kind of uh, outbreak, which we are here in San Diego, there are counties in San Diego with almost no COVID. So you can run over there and mail your stuff. Uh, last time I kind of ceased the eBay because of that. And I haven't been doing the, the swap meet, but I will. That's why my move was so awful. I had food storage and I had my eBay stuff and it was really, really bad to move. And so what I'm doing right now is I'm getting my stuff ready for when I feel it's safe to go back to the uh, swap meet. And you can do this too. You can do it right now if you need money. You can figure out a way. You're gonna figure out a way to increase your income. Um, the best way is three jobs. That's what I used to do. It was very unpleasant. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, one time I had my son in uh, private school and people used to say, how do you do it? And when I, I figured out my bills at the end of the year, I had way more bills than money. But uh, what I would do is, one of the things you can do is reduce all your expenses down to nothing. So, okay, today, and you're gonna come out of it by doing that. So today, I'm on the diet again. All I need, I, I already made the roast, I showed you. All I need is a little cottage cheese and some boiled eggs. I already have shelter, I already have beverages. And so what you're doing is you're reduce, you're literally reducing your, um, things that you need down to nothing. 
And what I've been doing, and this is really, really cheap too, but just by being really cheap, I mean, I've been wearing my pants three days and my shirt two days to reduce laundry. So, okay, that is my tips for you guys. If, if you don't have a job, get self-employment, some kind of self-employment. I think the it looks like you're going to be doing your job online. So think about that. You're going to be okay. You're going to put this in the back of your mind. Um, when I had my son in private school that time, I worked um, at a bakery at night. So I worked during the day doing hair. And that was like one of the first times I started working two jobs. And I worked at a bakery at night. And I only earned about $180 in two weeks. It was part time. But within months, I had totally stabilized and paid my bills off. So you don't need that much extra money. But the goal would be to double your low income. And so then uh, I want to mention this. Okay, I have always had a terrible memory. But even a person like spelling words, like anything, can learn three things at a time. Long sequences of items, you just learn them three at a time. I don't know why it works. It's smart people can do five. But I always look at it this way. Why strain yourself? So, okay, you have the first increment of, yeah, 10,000, 10,000 debt, 20,000, 10,000 debt, 30,000, 10,000 debt, and then you would keep doing that and doing that, and that is how you would get ahead, and you can do it. That is why I've been showing you my inventory, not to bore the hell out of you, but to give you some idea how you can get up and out of the pit you're in without, you can sit in your house and eat bread and peanut butter with water and pay down your debt. That is viable. But my method is just as viable. And over time, it doesn't take the wear and tear on you guys. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. And God bless you all.